Some Christians may have heard what No Big Deal and DJ Michael B said and immediately thought they were crazy and a part of some new age type teaching. And I feel like when you say that, hey, you can see God in something that's not explicitly Christian, they then think you're automatically sinning by saying this. But what's wild is that scripture would disagree with those people and that creation's sole purpose is to point to the God of the universe where to him and for him are all things. Romans 1, 18 and 21 says, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth for what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them for his invisible attributes, namely his internal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made so they are without excuse for although they knew god they did not honor him as god or give thanks to him but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened romans 1 talks about how through creation god is revealed that doesn't just mean trees or the wind or the beach but all of it meaning movies anime all of it reveals that God exists. The longings and themes we have that get displayed in all the shows that we see can intentionally or unintentionally reveal this. Because we're sinful, because we're broken people who deserve God's wrath, we suppress those things. So like we could see an amazing anime scene that gifted creators and animators put together and people admire the work of the artists, the animation, the storytelling, the relatability of the character and praise the created human made in God's image rather than God himself. And I'll have some people that would be like, Eli, it doesn't matter. Anime is demonic and sinful. Why would God use something like that to point to the revelation of himself? Well, why would God use Abraham who lied about Sarah being his wife? Why would he use a sinful person like Abraham and give a promise to him when he had a child with Hagar to try to achieve a son? Why would God use Rahab the prostitute to save the lives of two Hebrew spies that were scouting out the city? Why would God put the flaws of sinful human beings in the biblical story to point to himself? A lot of y'all believe that everything needs to be sanitized and that if there's a hint of anything that's demonic or sexual immoral or whatever, it's bad and that we should stay away. By your own standards, you probably shouldn't read the Bible at all. Because you have tons of crazy things that literally like if the bible was animated and not and not a sanitized version of the bible was like animated or put into a, a story series or whatever you would see these things and then i think christians would also cancel that too the biblical story we threw out with sin and simple things points to the reality of God and his goodness and the promise of Jesus who lived the life we cannot live and died the death that we deserve for our sins and rose again for our reconciliation to a holy God so that those who believe and trust in Jesus name they would have eternal life just because there's a certain amount of L a certain amount of things in a medium doesn't mean you're being given a prescription or encouragement to do these things, but a description of what's happening in the story. When did we get upset with describing a story? There are some things of medium that are used to make you stumble in sin, right? Like I'm not going to be on here promoting a prawn watcher channel or of fan channel or whatever i'm not going to be promoting obviously certain things that are debaucherous but with animal anime being a medium of storytelling yes sure there could be things that are used in there that are bad skip those things i skip those things like i'm not pressed like it's not a big deal i'm not i'm not i'm not afraid of the fact that an animator could use this idea of demons and like using demon slayer to defeat you know demons and things like I'm, why why are you so pressed about those things like y'all act like with certain things that are being shown in so in shows or whatever are descriptions or or prescriptions or things that these writers or animators are encouraging to do and that's not the case at all Y'all need, I think media literacy should be a thing. <sighs> it should be a class on this thing. I'm pretty sure there is. Go, go take a class on media literacy. If you do struggle with those things, you 